Ooh, ooh. Hey, welcome back to the Rock Cloud channel. And today is the day that we try to praise Papa Musk. Okay, soon we're going to be thanking him. We're one week away from Battery Day. And let's get some information. Let's get pumped. Okay, so let's check out the deets on Tesla right now. Okay, the stock was popping today. Okay, we're rocking. Everyone's getting beefed up and anticipated for Battery Day, which is just one week away. Okay, and that's what this video is about right now. Okay, we're out of the slums. Okay, it seems as if Tesla has stabilized. The market has stabilized. Okay, not only was Tesla in the red, okay, but the entire market was in the red for, in the, red for the past two weeks. So everybody needs to stop getting nervous. Hold on tight and forget that you have this stock and let's rock it. Okay, I had once had 250 shares of Tesla at $80. I flipped it for 240. This is going back years ago and big mistake that I had today because at that split I would have had well over 1,000 shares. Okay, so that was a mistake that I've made and that was you know you learn from your mistakes basically. So I got in before they called the split at 9.95. I got myself five shares. So post split I'm holding 25 shares of Tesla. Okay, that's why we're going to praise Papa Musk on this, uh, on this Battery Day announcement. And know he has some big news. He's going to roll up his sleeves and he's going to spill out all of the information. He's holding it on us, okay? He's been holding back a lot of information and he's been waiting. He timed this right, okay? He timed the split. He timed, you know, raising capital post-split, okay? Now that that all settled out, that dust has settled. Now we're ready to roll, okay? Let's do business, Tell us about it, Papa Musk. Okay, let's check it out. Here's the information right here. September 22nd, 2020, the annual meeting of stockholders and battery day. Tuesday, September 22nd, 1.30 p.m. Pacific time. Mark your calendar. Set those alerts. Guys, do it with me. Praise Papa Musk. We praise Papa Musk. Okay, check this out. Tesla stock rises as Musk tweets about many exciting things to come on battery day. Okay, he's holding many tricks up his sleeve. Okay, if there's any guy that could pull a rabbit out of his hat, it's Papa Musk. Okay, Tesla's battery technology day is about a week away, and Elon Musk seems excited, tweeting that many exciting things will be unveiled. Okay, yes, this is true. Okay, that one tweet got over 166,000 likes. Insane. He has almost 39 million followers on Twitter. He is going to be, or this company is going to be, the largest automobile company in the world in five more years. And like nobody's going to be able to touch them. They will have competitors. Yeah, you got Neo. No doubt. You got XPEV. All right. And they, they have XPeng has huge backers behind them. Okay. They have Jack Ma from Alibaba backing up that company. So they, those companies will never go broke as well. Okay. But this guy is starting it from the ground up. Okay. The stock is rocking. Okay. Battery day expectations can probably be divided into four sections. Battery cost, reliability, manufacturing, capacity, and new technology. Cost of batteries have always been a big issue for electric vehicles. To date, the batteries, inverters, and electric motors have been more expensive than a traditional engine, transmission, exhaust system, and fuel tank. Getting battery costs below $100 per kilowatt hour is the number floated within the industry that will help increase penetration of EVs by dropping the cost of purchase closer to a traditional vehicle. That's when you're going to own a Tesla, okay? Because they are a little bit pricey at the moment, okay? Even used Teslas hold their value, okay? An EV typically comes with a 60 to 80 kilowatt hour battery pack. That makes the cost of the battery cells at $100 per kilowatt roughly $6,000 to $8,000, okay? So he's looking to eliminate that cost over time. Tesla's battery partner Panasonic recently announced more manufacturing capacity at Tesla's Nevada facility. Investors want to be sure, at a minimum, there are enough batteries to support growth. Wall Street expects Tesla sales to increase roughly 40% in 2021 from 2020. Insane. Okay, basically, don't get left in the dust here. Buy this stock now. Don't wait for battery day when it's at $600 because you know it's going to get there soon. And and afterwards, we, we're probably going to see 1000 the turn of the year, okay? Mid-next mid spring, this stock should be back at 1000 okay? And, and check out this rendering 
of a uh, new Tesla Gigafactory, okay, that's going to be in production. Look at the roof line. The roof line is lined with solar panels all across the top of this Gigafactory, and that's how uh, Tesla does business. They pull solar to run their plants. Insane. They're not just changing Tesla as a company. They're changing the world, okay? And for example, Strata Solar and Tesla partner on a battery project in Ventura County, California. Okay, this is going to be another huge battery farm. Humongous Tesla battery plant approved in California is 10 times bigger than the world's biggest battery plant. I don't make this stuff up. It's right in front of you. Look, come on. I'm going to drop this link down below. Do your own research or add to it. Hit me in the comments. Let me know what time it is. Tesla has been approved to reinvent the Morse Landing power plant in California as a battery power plant. Tesla will be bringing clean and renewable energy into the plant, which will be one of the largest, probably the largest energy storage facility in the world. In fact, it will be approximately 10 times bigger than Tesla's Hornsdale Energy Storage Project, which was three times bigger than any other battery storage facility at the time it was built. Like This is mind-blowing. Bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. You can't stop this man, okay? You can't bet against him. Bet with him. You can't You can't be bearish on this stock. You have to be the bull. Let's go. Stock up. Here's another one. Tesla PG&E to build massive clean energy facility in Monterey County, okay? County plan is approved the joint project that officials say would be the largest battery facility in the world. I mean, the headlines don't stop. Okay, like I said, they're not just changing the company as a whole or changing electric vehicles. They're changing the world in the process. Okay, so this is insane. Okay, I want you guys to do this. Get rich or die trying with Rock Cloud. Get involved now. Tesla, T-S-L-A, that's how we rock. Smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out.